If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. This lesson shows you the tools you can use to modify the pictures you insert into your Word documents. Once you insert a picture in Word from Microsoft 365, and then click it to select it, a Picture Format Contextual tab then appears in the ribbon. This tab contains the main functions you use to format pictures. Note this contextual tab only appears when a picture is selected in your Word document. The buttons in the Adjust button group let you make different image adjustments to the currently selected picture in the document. To remove the background from a selected picture in Word, click the Remove Background button. If you click this button, the Background Removal Contextual tab then appears in the ribbon. This tab contains the buttons you use to discard the background. Word then shows the area to discard in a purple color. Next, use the Mark Areas to Keep or Mark Areas to Remove buttons in the Refine button group on the Background Removal Contextual tab of the ribbon to change your mouse pointer into a pencil that lets you draw lines to indicate the sections of the picture to keep or remove depending on which button you clicked. To then remove the background, click the Keep Changes button in the Close button group on the Background Removal Contextual tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, to cancel the changes, click the Discard All Changes button to cancel the process. To select a preset picture correction for a selected picture in Word, click the Corrections drop-down button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select a choice from the Sharpen, Soften, or Brightness, Contrast sections of the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture Task Pane and show the Picture Corrections category to apply Advanced Corrections, click the Picture Corrections Options command in the Buttons drop-down menu. The options in this task pane are covered in the following lessons in this chapter. To change the color of a selected picture in Word, click the Color drop-down button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then choose an option from the Color Saturation, Color Tone, or Recolor section to apply it. Alternatively, to see more color choices, roll over the More Variations command to select a color choice from the palette of colors that appears. Alternatively, to remove a color from the picture, click the Set Transparent Color command, and then click a color to remove it from the image and replace it with transparency. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture task pane and set Advanced Color and Correction options, Click the Picture Color Options command from the Color drop-down button. To apply preset artistic effects to a selected picture in Word, click the Artistic Effects drop-down button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon, and choose from the preset options that appear. Alternatively, to set Advanced Artistic Effect options in the Format Picture Task pane, select the Artistic Effects Options command from the drop-down menu. 
To select a transparency level for a selected picture in Word, click the Transparency button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon, and then choose a preset from the Buttons drop-down menu. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture task pane and set the Transparency level in its Picture Transparency section, click the Picture Transparency Options command in the Buttons drop-down menu. To compress pictures in a Word document, first select the pictures to compress in the document. Then click the Compress Pictures button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. To compress only the selected pictures, check the Apply Only to This Picture checkbox in the Compress Pictures dialog box that opens. Alternatively, to compress all the pictures in your document, uncheck this checkbox. To delete any cropped areas of pictures, check the Delete Cropped Areas of Pictures checkbox. Then choose the resolution that suits your needs. Then click the OK button to compress the pictures in your document and close the dialog box. Note that this only works with image files like JPEG and GIF files. To replace the currently selected picture in Word with another picture, click the Change Picture button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select from Where to select the replacement image in the drop-down menu that appears. To replace the picture with one from your computer, choose the This Device command to open the Insert Picture dialog box which you then use to find and select the local picture to use. To use an online picture, choose the From Online Sources choice to open the Online Pictures window, which lets you select a replacement from Bing Image Search. To use a stock image, choose the From Stock Images command to select a picture from the Stock Images window. To use an icon, Choose the From Icons command to open the same stock images window, but select the icons category. To instead paste the last thing copied to your clipboard as the replacement picture, choose the From Clipboard command. These commands let you select a substitute for the current picture without resetting any formatting or size adjustments already applied. To reset any changes made to a selected picture in Word, click the Reset Picture button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. To choose which changes to reset for a selected picture, click the drop-down arrow on the Reset Picture button to either choose Reset Picture, which resets formatting options only, or choose Reset Picture and Size, which resets both formatting and sizing changes. To apply a preset picture style to a selected picture in Word, click any picture style in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon. To preview a style before applying it, hold your mouse pointer over a style in this list. To scroll through the styles, click the up and down arrows to the right of the list. To see all available styles at once, Click the More button below the two arrows to fully open the selection box. To add a border to a selected picture in Word, click the Picture Border drop-down button in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon. Then click the Border Color to apply. To quickly change the border's thickness, sketching style, or dash style, Roll over the Weight, Sketched, or Dashes command in the Buttons drop-down menu and select a choice from the respective side menu of choices that appears. To apply a picture effect to a selected picture in Word, click the Picture Effects drop-down button in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. 
Then roll your mouse pointer over an effect category to show a listing of styles in that category. To preview an effect style on the selected image in your document, hold your mouse pointer over any style. To apply an effect style to the picture, click an effect style. To convert a selected picture in Word into a SmartArt graphic, click the Picture Layout button in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then click a SmartArt style to apply from the options that appear in the button's drop down menu. To add an alternative text description of a selected document picture to help user accessibility, click the Alt Text button in the Accessibility button group on the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon to open the Alt Text pane at the right side of the window. Word then automatically generates a description of the picture. To approve the Alt Text description, check the Approve Alt Text checkbox below the description in the pane. Alternatively, to type your own description, click into the large white text box, delete the existing description, and then type your own simple description of the image. Alternatively, to attempt to automatically generate an alt text description after deleting the original alt text description, click the Generate Alt Text For Me button that then appears. Alternatively, to mark the picture as purely decorative, instead, check the Mark as Decorative checkbox to not distract the reader. To close the alt text pane in Word, click the X button in its upper right corner. To select a preset placement option for a selected picture in Word, click the Position drop down button in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then choose from the listed options to position the picture in the document. To adjust the text wrapping for a selected picture in Word, click the Wrap Text drop down button in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select a preset text wrapping option for the selected picture from the listed options. To change the order in which a selected picture in Word overlaps other content, click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop down buttons in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon and choose an option to apply to the selected picture. To toggle the display of the selection pane on or off in Word, click the selection pane button in the arrange button group of the picture format contextual tab in the ribbon. The selection pane in Word lists the selectable document objects like pictures and shapes in the current document page. To adjust the alignment of a selected picture in Word if its text wrapping is not in line with text, Click the Align Objects button in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon to choose an alignment option and select Alignment Settings from the button's drop down menu of choices. To group multiple selected objects, like pictures, together into a single object in Word, select the objects to group. Then, click the Group Objects button in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format contextual tab in the ribbon. Then, choose the Group command from the drop-down menu. To ungroup a grouped object, select the grouped object. Then, click the Group Objects button in the Arrange button group again. Then, choose the Ungroup command. To rotate a selected picture in Word, click the Rotate button in the Arrange button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. 
then select a rotation option from the drop down menu. To crop a selected picture in Word, which removes unwanted or excess parts of it, click the Crop button in the Size button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. A bounding box with black cropping handles on its sides and corners then appears around the selected picture. Then click and drag inward on any of the cropping handles on the picture to mark those sections as the parts to remove. Then click the Crop button again to crop the selected parts of the image away. If you make a mistake, you can uncrop by clicking the Crop button again, and then dragging the cropping handles back outwards to restore parts of the image that were lost. Then click the Crop button again. Alternatively, click the Reset Picture button in the Adjust button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon, to reset the picture back to its original state if needed. To crop a selected picture in Word to fit a chosen shape, click the drop down under the Crop button in the Size button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then roll over the Crop to Shape command. Then select a desired shape from the side menu of choices that appears. To crop a selected picture in Word to a selected aspect ratio instead, click the drop down under the Crop button in the Size button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then roll over the Aspect Ratio command and select an aspect ratio from its side menu. To increase or decrease the height or width of a selected picture in Word, use the spinner arrows at the right end of either the Shape Height or Shape Width spinner boxes in the Size button group of the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. To make specific changes to a selected picture size in Word, click the Advanced Layout Size dialog box launcher button in the lower right corner of the Size button group on the Picture Format contextual tab in the ribbon. On the Size tab of the Layout dialog box, you can enter the height and width into the fields provided. To adjust the relational aspect, meaning the height-to-width ratio of a selected picture in Word using the Layout dialog box, uncheck the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox in the Scale section of the Size tab in the Layout dialog box. Then enter the height and width independently. To enter a degree of rotation to apply to the picture, use the Rotation Spinner buttons on the Size tab of the Layout dialog box. To scale the image by a selected percentage, enter a percentage into either the Height and or Width fields in the Scale section on the Size tab of the Layout dialog box. When making size and scale changes, you can also check or uncheck the two checkboxes in this section as needed to lock the aspect ratio, and or determine if the ratio used is based on the current image scale or the scale of the original image. To reset any sizing change made to the picture, click the Reset button at the bottom of the Size tab of the Layout dialog box. To close the Layout dialog box and apply your changes to the selected picture in Word after making your sizing adjustments, click the OK button in the Layout dialog box. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos, see our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.